Have you ever had a moment where you just can't find the right earrings to match your outfit? So why not make your own? These cute tassel earrings are a fun style that are easy to customize to your own taste. Before you begin, you will need some thread, hoop earrings, ear findings, glue, and pliers. The thread I'll be using is an Egyptian pearl cotton called Eleganza, which comes in number eight, five, and number three sizes. This thread has been double gassed, resulting in a very low lint finish. For these earrings, I will be using a number three size Eleganza. Take the Eleganza and wrap the thread around your hand nine times. ending at your starting point and snip the thread. Now carefully take out the wound loop while maintaining its shape and snip the group of threads at each end of the loop. This will yield 18 strands, which is enough to do one earring. Take the strands and group them into threes, which will result in six groups of three strands. Now that we have our group of three Eleganza strands prepared, we can move on to the next step. Take a ring hoop and one group of three strands. Fold the strands in half to make a U shape with the group. Place the U behind the hoop, then pull the ends through the loop from the front. Repeat for the remaining groups. Take note that depending on the size of your hoop earring and the size of the thread used, you may need to add additional strands in units of three to fill the hoop. When you are done, use a Q-tip or paintbrush to dab the knots with glue, then leave to dry. Once the glue is dry, take a pair of scissors and trim the excess thread off to your desired length. Then take your Q-tip or paintbrush and dab white glue at the trimmed ends to prevent them from fraying. Leave to dry. Using the pliers, take your ear findings and open their loop to attach your hoop earring onto them. Now repeat the whole process for the second earring. And there you have it. You've created your very own tassel earrings with these simple steps. These cute earrings are fun to make and don't break your wallet. Don't be afraid to try different colored combinations, different cuts or lengths to really customize them to your own style. If you've made these yourself, let us know in the comment section below, or let us know what type of video you'd like to see next time. Don't forget to give us a thumbs up if you like this video, and hit subscribe for more great tips and tutorials. We'll see you all next time.